So it's a glorious cold cold day here at the Chateau today. It's just a bit too cold for us to be working outside. We've been trying to get some stuff done but the breeze here is absolutely freezing. So we're going to do a little bit of outdoor work but mostly indoor work hopefully. And one of the jobs that we've been wanting to tick off the list is to get some lights, some like wall lights on the side of the tower on either side and then I can get all of the electrics boxed up and finished in the tower because in there at the minute we've got like the light switches and all that all on in the corner here so we've got all the light switches all on and ready but in this other corner we've got all of the cabling for all of the light switches, wall lights, everything like that so I just want to get all that boxed up and finished off now so it's another job ticked off the list and we're not having pieces of wood and all that just lying around everywhere so yeah the idea is to get one on the side of the tower here and then one on the side of the tower on the other side now when I've been out and about shopping in Brockhunts and stuff like that I've managed to pick up a couple of different um, lanterns and I'm not too sure which one to go with so there's two different types that we've got but both of them are going to need a lot of work so I'm going to get those out see where they are have a little look see how much work they need if I can do it and which one are going to look best really in place and like I said we've got one to go on this side and then one to go on the other one and it's just so there's a bit of light for when people actually approach the, the chateau really and just make it look a little bit nicer and then hopefully we can get on with cleaning the front get the tower done and it's all ticked off the list so i think i've got some that are in the cellar so we'll go in the cellar first have a little look in there see which ones i've got in there and then i think i've got one up in the barn which in here all the big chandeliers so we're going to get this in now so we'll have a look in the cellar our dumping ground at the minute I've got them lanterns, but I don't think they're going to go really. And then there's these ones. These ones are really nice, to be honest. So they're really simple. And I did originally get these for the very front gate. Um, I think they'd be quite nice. So I've got them ones. And then, I don't know where the other one, I've got one here and I've got one in the barn. But we'll grab this one for now so we can go and show mum and see what she thinks. As you can see the other one needs a little bit of work. But it wouldn't be a shower job if we didn't have just jobs. We'll get this get this one in and then we'll go in the barn and have a look for the next one so we found our lanterns ma'am mm -hmm. and they're not in too bad of a condition no it's been that, well no it's been that long you, you thought they were a little bit more damaged than what they actually are so that's a bonus yeah and i knew they needed a bit of work mm -hmm. but i thought it was a lot more than what they actually needed yeah so these are the different ones that we've got so that's one set and obviously we've got the other one to that one down in the cellar but that needs obviously a lot of work well i think you've taken a bit of a shine to these ones haven't yeah. you mum i like them I don't they're more like they're, coach house aren't yeah, they? they're not they're not they're just not enough for the front these with, with having these on and um, yeah. the far more chateau-esque yes <laughs> and that's country cottage <laughs> yeah yeah that's what I'll say, so I can have them. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think they would be nice at yep. the cottage, actually. I think they'd be lovely yeah. out the on front. The wall, yeah. yeah, they would be nice. And it'd be a bit lighter than your little spotlight that you've got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get them out, have a little look, see what they look like in place, and see what they like. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start getting to work on. Yeah, well, we just found holes. that, like Terry said, originally that the brass. Um, so we know that they've been painted black because there's a little bit of brass here. So we, we don't know whether it's going to be a lot of work stripping them, but we don't know whether to strip them or paint them white. 
Well, yeah, the idea, because we just thought they were black, so the idea yeah. we were going to have was to paint them white and then we'll highlight like some of the details in gold leaf, just so it gives you like a nice contrast, mm -hmm. as I think is white and gold here. So they would look nice black and gold, but we haven't got anything black and gold. No. So it's, it's just not the place for it. So I think just highlighting like the little trim on the bottom here mm -hmm. and the trim on the top and maybe the eagle as well. Yeah. I think it'd be more than enough. So we've managed to get the panel off where we're going to be obviously trying to get the wire through for the wall lights. We made a decision on the wall lights and we made a decision where we're going to put them and we're going to try and sort of work our way back to the fuse box which is going to be over here behind me. So we need to get all the wires back over there and I'm not seeing a single one really. And that's where it's obviously quite difficult hiding each of the wires so you don't see a single wire. They just sort of look like they're there really. So I'll show you through what our plan is and what lights we've picked and how we're going to do it really. So we've got the panel off and as you can see we've got a nice big gap behind it. So it's plenty of space for us to bring the wire in through and bring it up here and then we can chase it up. So the route we'll have to do is bring it behind the panelling, straight up across the ceiling. Then we have to go 
up onto the next floor, down, because we have beams there and I don't want to drill through every single beam. So I have to go up, back down, and then we have to come around here and in the fuse box. And that's been the best route because this is a big stone column here, so we can't go through that. We've got a solid beam on the top, so we can't go through that. And then obviously there's the solid walls as well. So yeah, but because we're planning on putting the wall light in about the center of this wall, it's gonna be quite a lot to get through and then get it up. So we will see, we'll see how we get it done. And we've decided to go with these ones. They're gonna be a lot nicer and it's gonna give a lot more impact. These ones are beautiful, but we tried them over in the cottage and they just fitted perfect in the cottage. So if we'll be able to clean those up and in time get those fitted on the front of the cottage and get them sorted, which will be good. But the task now is to try and drill through these walls, which are unbelievably thick. So if you can see from there to there. And luckily, Brickomark came to our rescue once again and has given us some of the longest drill bits in the world. <laughs> it's like up to my waist, it went past my waist to be honest. <laughs> So hopefully they're going to go all the way through it and then we'll be able to pass it through. So we'll get on with that now. <laughs>
there we have it. Two outdoor wall lights, all ready and prepped to be wired up. All I need to do now is actually get them sorted and ready to be wired up. But this job's been sort of on the list for about a year, year and a half now from when I've done all the electrics actually here in the entrance hall. That was the job that I needed to do. I kept on putting it off because I just didn't know how we were going to work out getting it through behind the panelling. So luckily managed to get it through and that side was one of the easiest to be honest because the other side we had to bring it through and go in that stairwell which was a bit of a scary thing but yeah it's all good. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I know it's not been too exciting with what's going on but like I said this has been a job that I've been wanting to get done for over the last year really and um, just to, to get it in place and get it sorted so now we've got it in it means that i can work on the lanterns when we have some quiet days and then we can get those up and then when visitors are actually staying at the chateau there's some outdoor light because at the minute it's just pitch black so yeah it'll be good it'll be nice to have some light out there and then we've got some lanterns for in front of the gates that paul has been painting so we can look at getting those in place and then at least when people are approaching the chateau they've got plenty of light there just to light it up for them so yeah and then mum will be having the other lanterns so she loved those and we tried them on the cottage and they looked perfect so i'll give those to mum once i've sorted them out so put them back together and we've sprayed them and that then we'll get those fitted on the cottage and i think they'll look perfect perfect on there so yeah, that'll be an exciting thing as well because we'll be able to get the cottage sorted this year. So we're going to be looking at getting the, like, the exterior sorted. We're going to look at getting a canopy for it. And we're not too sure if to keep the windows, the wood colour they are at the minute, or if to paint them white so it matches in with the chateau. So it's all in keeping really. Because at the minute they're, they're not the same colour as anything that we've got here really so I don't know I'm a bit unsure mum's a bit unsure but I think painting them white is going to be the the best thing to to keep it sort of in keeping so let us know in the cottage what you think if you think that we should paint the like dormer windows and all of the normal windows in the doors white just so they all match in so yeah it's all good and yeah we'll see you in the next one I hope you've enjoyed today's video and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon. Where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.